So I was listening to this podcast the other day uh, uh, where the one of the founders of Waves, the, the app, the driving app, was being interviewed. And she revealed how of a test that was done that Disney is the most authentic brand. What does this mean? Disney is the epitome of creation and imagination and and everything that's not real and making it real. But yet they were deemed the most authentic brand. Why does that matter? It matters because in building your brand and in that process of being authentic, you need to create something that is real, something that people can feel, something that people can touch and what people can relate to. And one of the easiest ways to do this is by engaging on social media. We don't have time to sit and meet everyone for coffee that we want to meet with. But we do have time to write a quick comment here or to engage with someone there. We do have that time. So that's what we're going to talk about today. How to comment on posts and why liking is lazy. So quick caveat as far as where liking is lazy came from. So about two years ago now, uh, Tracy Warren and I teamed up and did a program called Social Brilliance Impact. And in one of our presentations, we were talking about social media, obviously. Uh, Tracy got bursts out with, liking is lazy. And I just thought that it was the most ingenious phrase ever. And then I followed that up with uh, favoriting is, we ended up developing favoriting is flaky for Twitter, but Twitter got rid of favoriting and now you like on Twitter as well. So understanding the liking is lazy principle means that there's a couple different approaches that you can take when engaging on social media. First of all, let's break out social media. We like the media part because it seduces us with the numbers. We like the media part because it allows us to believe that we're getting a bigger audience and a bigger reach and that we're accomplishing more with less effort. Because seriously, how long does it take to write a quick post? A quick post, hey, I'm about to do a Facebook Live and we're gonna be talking about commenting on social media. Okay, that took all of 30 seconds, about that. In doing that, it's about building a connection. So if all you're doing is liking, think of it this way. If you're meeting somebody for coffee, you're sitting down at a coffee shop and they're talking and you're listening and the only thing that you say during this entire one hour conversation is like, 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 they're going to begin to think that you're a little weird and that you don't, can't have a conversation and you can't engage with them and you don't, they don't really know where you stand. The same message applies when all you do is like posts on Facebook or any social media platform. Now Facebook is the one that has other emoticons that they finally have added. So you can choose love or you could choose the laughter or you could use angry or wow or the sad face. Based on Facebook's algorithm, when you choose any one of those other emoticons, that gives a higher ranking than just liking because liking is lazy. So if we're going to do a comment, how do you do a comment? Go back to the basic word of social media. Let's be social. In a general conversation, you talk a little, I listen. I talk a little, you listen. I talk a little, you listen again, you talk a little, I listen, and then you talk a little more, and then I listen some more. And in doing that, there's a dialogue. So a proper etiquette and a simple formula to help you remember how to engage on social media is compliment, challenge, ask a question. So how do we compliment, challenge, ask a question? Let's make the assumption that we are reading Bob's top 10 list an article that he wrote it's a top 10 list of best business practices okay so we look at bob's article we read through all 10 and we discover that four is our absolute 
favorite. That's what we've built our business on. It's how we train people that we work with. It's how we build relationships and we've been so successful. So the first part of this formula is compliment. I'm going to tell Bob that exact situation. Bob, I completely agree with number four. It's my favorite. I use it when I work with everyone, whether it be my boss, whether it be with clients. My kids even know it and my kids even practice it. I love number four. Okay, so in reading through the article, number nine just drives you crazy. Every time you have tried to implement tip nine, no matter who, no matter who has recommended it to you, it feels like the world has fallen apart and everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. So what do we do? This is how we disagree or we challenge what Bob posted. So how do you challenge? We agreed with Bob by saying four is fabulous. Sorry, Bob, but I just can't agree with you on nine. Every time that I have tried to implement tip nine, it feels like everything has fall, fallen apart. And I, I just don't connect with it. So I don't use it. You're disagreeing with him, but you're doing it respectfully. And then the third part of that is ask a question. Remember, everything you do on social media is intended to start or continue an existing conversation. And I guarantee you that you will build more relationships and generate more business faster by engaging with other people's content than you are by only creating your own. So how do you ask a question? We've, remember, we've agreed with Bob on tip four, saying it's fabulous and our most wonderful business advice we've ever received. We've disagreed with him with nine, saying, eh, this doesn't work for us. So now we have two approaches for ask a question. We can say, Bob, have you met anybody else who has had this experience with tip nine as well? Or you can add a suggestion. Remember, Bob wrote a top 10 list. We can say, Bob, I really think tip number 11 should be this. What you're showing, Bob, is that you A, actually read his article, and B, that you also want to have a conversation. You're inviting him to write back. You're also showing other people on whatever social platform you're on that you can think for yourself. Comments as simple as, great article, Bob. Good job, Bob. Thanks for sharing, Bob. They don't build credibility. They also don't show that you can think for yourself. Instead, they end up positioning you as a me too brand, which means that if I'm making the decision to hire you or somebody that wrote great job, Bob, remember you just used this, the new formula. You just used compliment, challenge, and ask a question. I now know that you can think for yourself and that you have your own original ideas. If it's up to you and that general comment, I'm going to choose you all the way because I know you can think for yourself and you're not just a me too brand. Because when you're a Me Too brand, you don't have any value. So where can you post these comments? Where can you engage with people? You can do it on any status update, whether it be on LinkedIn, Facebook, or even Twitter. When someone sends out a tweet, that's basically a status update. On Twitter, you would hit reply and you would comment. Now, on Twitter, you have the challenge of 140 characters. So it's about being concise. How can you ask them a question or engage with them in that short example? Elon Musk from Tesla just did this. Uh, a guy tweeted him and was complaining about how people are abusing the charging stations and just leaving their car parked there for hours. Got back to him and said, you're right, this is a problem. I'm going to look into it. Six days later, 
Elon Musk uh, responded again and said, here's the, here's the solution to the problem. For people who have Teslas and leave their cars at the charging stations, they will have five minutes to disconnect their car from the charging station or they're going to be charged a per minute fee. He did all this through tweets. It can be done. The challenge is up to you. On LinkedIn, when somebody posts a status update and says, hey, I'm working on this for my next client, you can write back, congratulations, I can't, hear, I can't wait to hear about what you're going to come up with. Are you going to include this? Or you can say, congratulations, I didn't know you were working with this client, if they reveal who the client is, of course. On articles that are shared on LinkedIn or Facebook, wherever they may be, same thing. You know, show that you've read the article. Also, when you're sharing an article on LinkedIn or Facebook, why are you sharing it? Why is it important? Why is it relevant? Not even important, why is it relevant? Why do I, as the audience, the viewer, care that you're sharing this article? Okay, let's be real. I'm giving you all these tips as far as how you can respond and how you can engage online. And I'm telling you that liking is lazy, but guess what? I'm a culprit too. I'll find myself scrolling through the news feed on Facebook or on LinkedIn and clicking like, and by the time I get to the bottom, I'm like, yeah, I didn't follow my own advice. I just didn't feel like engaging with anybody, but I wanted to show them that I was actually paying attention. And sometimes that's fine. The question is, what is your habit? And can you change that habit so you're proactively engaging and not relying on the lazy element of it? Liking is lazy. Favoriting is flaky. Although favoriting is not relevant anymore, but I still like the flow of liking is lazy and favoriting is flaky. How can you leverage emoticons on Facebook, comments on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and even YouTube, even in Instagram, you can use comments on all of these different platforms. Just remember the lingo. So for example, if you're commenting on Instagram, hashtag soup, hashtag, 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 talk in hashtags, and that's perfectly acceptable. Don't do that on Facebook or LinkedIn. One or two hashtags at most, but only if it's relevant. And how are you commenting? Remember the formula, agree, respectfully disagree, ask a question or compliment, challenge, ask a question. What words work for you? All right, we are right at about a little over 10 minutes, I believe, if I'm watching the clock correctly. Post your comments below. Remember, we did just talk about commenting. So I am looking forward to seeing you commenting on more posts, not just mine, not just in this group, but also in your regular social media activity, when you logged in, when you log into LinkedIn, when you log into Facebook, comment. People will remember you because they've taken, because you have taken the time to reach out to them. I guarantee you that the more you engage with other people's content, the more they will remember you and the more that you'll build relationships faster to generate more fans, followers, and connections and convert them into paying clients. Alrighty, I'm looking forward to chatting with you soon.